Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at F1VM Virtual Device. As you already know, this is the Lifetime Edition mod and it also has a rooted system. Without wasting much time, let's start the video. First of all, you will have to download the file which contains the F1VM Lifetime Edition mod. Download link is in the video description. Let's go ahead and extract it. Install the F1VM application file. Never mind this message. Just click on more details and then install anyway. Open the app after installing F1VM application. Credits to Guanyin for this mod. Allow permissions for the app to operate well. Enable PIP demo by clicking on Goto settings and enabling display over other apps for F1VM in the app list. Click back after enabling. I'm not experiencing this issue so I'm just gonna click on ignore and start. If you're experiencing any unstableness and bugs from the app, I will recommend you to install the F1 helper in the file we downloaded and follow the tutorial to fix it. This issue mostly occurs on Android version 12 and above. As for me, I've not experienced any bugs since using it so I'll just ignore and start. First startup will take a couple of seconds to start and you can also notice at the top left corner the lifetime VIP tag. At this point I'm going to just speed up the video to make things faster. Okay, we're in now. These are some features you will get access to. Some are VIP, but since VIP is unlocked, we are getting access to all features. As you can see here, VIP is activated and valid forever. Good for us. So this is the user interface of the app and it's kinda okay. It also has an inbuilt Google Play service system so I'm just gonna sign into my Gmail. As I said in the beginning of the video, it has a rooted system so we're gonna check using the root checker app so let's download it. Now before we check, if it's rooted let's enable exposed framework which helps in rooting the virtual machine. It needs to restart to ensure it works effectively. Now we can check if it's rooted.
As you can see, it is rooted. You can successfully use any app which requires a rooted system. Let's import Game Guardian to test it. Let's grant it permission to install unknown files. Click on more details then install anyway. Game Guardian operates perfectly. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you on my next video and it's your lovely host Bowmania signing out.